Do you have faith in us? Yeah, of course. Wait, when have we ever done something to not give all the people the faith in us that we're like the best cooks in the world? Um, probably every single time, but you know. Most of <laughs>
you think this is gonna work out? Yeah, of course. Do you have faith in us? Yeah, of course. Wait, when have we ever done something to not give all the people the faith in us that we're like the best cooks in the world? Um, Probably every single time, but you know. Most, works, <laughs> you know. most time there's a lot of doubt. I got it, I got it. Oh, yeah, I mix it. that up, mix that up. Uh, and then now we gotta get to sous vide and some tenderloins. I'm ready. That's a steak. That's, that's, that ain't a steak. That's just a whole muscle that's that they tenderloin. ripped out of a cow. Like someone just reached into a fistula that's and a then. Big tendy. Don't Google image cow fistula. Um, all right, so we're making the mushroom dixel. So right now okay. we got four wild mushrooms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got shiitake, we got enoki, uh, we have oyster mushrooms, and then we have lion's mane. I pointed at all the wrong ones. Yeah, you did. But those are all there. Okay. Add some oil to that pot and then get the mushroom sauteing. So a dixel is what is typically added to a beef wellington. It's like this little mushroomy flavor mixture that you pack all around the steak. And so we're gonna make that. Now right now, I'm gonna take this whole tenderloin and I'm gonna kind of trim this up and butcher it and I'm gonna save the scraps for chili. God, I love my scrap chilies at home. Not the scrap chili. The scrap chili, oh, it's coming out this weekend, V. So my goal here is to, I'm trying to create like four long-ish logs so we have just like a full tenderloin in the center of each of these here egg rolls. How long do you think we want these egg rolls to be? Like that big? Uh, that's a good size, a right? reasonable size. That's a reasonable, yeah. reasonably sized egg roll. I'm gonna trim this up. I'm gonna try and get like four different logs out of all of these bad boys. Um, we don't want it to be too big. Okay, because here's the thing. <laughs> we tend to make things way too big on fancy fast food. You know? We or you? Listen, I don't, I like to think that anything we do as a team, so like my failures are also your failures. That way I can just spread out my failures across, you know. That's fine, that's fine. Yeah, I'll yeah. take that responsibility. Like Michael Jordan misses the last shot of a game. Maybe Scotty didn't get him in the pocket. You know what I mean? Like, that's what I'm that's saying. That's a way different it's like whenever it team kick. effort than <laughs> cooking. But I see where you're going with it. So I'm gonna just right. stay here and do this. I'm just gonna try and get a log in. How's that going? It's did you going the, great. Did you add the ginger and the garlic yet? No, I was waiting a little bit, but now I'm gonna add it since you said it. Then we're gonna sous vide this like a perfectly rare. And my okay. idea, have you done this before? Have you no, dude, we've never April? done any of this before. I once deep fried a whole Chipotle burrito. That's yeah. that's like about as close as I've gotten to this. Oh, um, that was a real thing I did. Right. It was when 420 and Easter fell on the same day and I deep fried a whole Chipotle burrito. Uh -huh. <laughs> One of those, like, you guys get it. <laughs> it's a nice little tenderloin log, right? It looks nice. Somewhat even? All yeah. right. Good toss egg roll size. Bag. I think so. I think do you so. Th like, we do don't you, know. Do you see anything about this that wouldn't work out though? Like uh, a perfectly no. rare tenderloin in the center of a giant shrimp and lobster sausage egg roll. Visually, I can't see it, but we'll figure it out when the time comes. <laughs> we always do, we or always we don't. Do. We always do. And sometimes it's bad, but all we know is it's freaking fancy. That's all right. right. Am I missing Trim something? I'm missing even. this. Yeah, yeah, so we want to get as much flavor in there as possible. So you're gonna go soy, sesame oil, uh, and then you got the, Ch the Chinese five spice in there? Yeah, I do. Heck it yeah. It smells beautiful. I'm gonna take some ginger, I'm just gonna Crush it like that. Yeah. And then we're gonna pop this in there, just get some aromatics in the sous vide. The goal is to sous vide this perfectly rare, and then we're gonna sear it real quick, brush it down with that, mm -hmm. with what? the mustard that I haven't made yet. We're gonna brush it down with some mustard, yeah. and then we're gonna get the Dixel on it. Okay. And then, and then. <laughs> we're gonna make an egg roll. This is too cool. She just, she just made egg rolls, man. She just made normal ass egg rolls. Like, we just, would you watch that video? Just like, how to make a normal ass egg roll? But like, are we normal? So. No, that's true. We gotta stay true to ourselves exactly. and make everything way more complicated. Than it uh, has to be. For roughly no more taste. All right, so a couple of Sichuan peppercorns to really get that sort of aroma in there. You get a little. I, I'm, I'm just making things. What was that? I think I got some steak on the ground. <laughs> I don't know, dude. I'm getting, I'm feeling overwhelmed. Can Are you? I'm not. Bit? I feel great. I'm just over just, here. I'm just vibing with the muscle. Dick cell. I think it's pretty good if you want to turn that off. Okay, cool. And we're gonna get a little bit of soy sauce in there. Okay. And then. You got the sassy? That's the it. Sesame? We got the sesame oil, we got the soy, we got the aromatics. Okay. Now we're just gonna get this vacuum sealed off and hopefully it doesn't suck up the liquid and ruin our machine. Um, um that would be your fault. This is, this is like the trusty fancy fast food sous vide bag. We've been using this since day one. Yeah, it's definitely had our backs this whole time. <laughs> and we put this some machine? Weird stuff in there. I don't know. This machine's my only friend. All right. Yeah. Good job. You know how to press buttons. Yeah, well, I normally don't. That's the thing. No, you sure don't. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, no, 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 hold, oh. hold, oh. hold, uh oh. oh, no, it's fine. What's that noise? Shh, 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 shh. I don't like what's happening in here. Do you like what's happening? It sounds in there? like there's a hole in there, but I can't no, tell. No, it's fine. It's just sucking up. The machine's thirsty. It needs to drink all the juice. So it's a vampire? Yeah. Okay. It's a psychic vampire. Okay. And you need to get them out of your life because they are toxic. <laughs> all right, so we got this Dixel. You taste it yet? Nope. What's it gonna taste like? Mm, there's a lot of flavor love. in there. Tastes mm. like love. Mm. We're gonna sous vide this in 120 until it's perfectly rare. Mm -hmm. Then I guess we're gonna make some sauces. Yeah, let's, let's make do some sauces. V, we're in the champagne room now. 
Oh, no, <laughs> never, we're not. Never no, go to that. No, no, if someone tries to get you to go to something called a champagne room, they're tricking you. Don't do Don't that. Don't do that. You're going to come out $300 poor and feeling real weird about yourself. More so, like $2,000. <laughs> where are you going? We're making a champagne sweet and sour sauce. So we got this 2006 <laughs> Brut Rosé Nicolas Foyat Condor Ooh, Champagne. I'm just going to shake it just a little fancy. bit. Where does it go? There oh. we go. Dang, I almost took the And we're just going to get that. Yeah, yeah, that's how you know it's good. So we're gonna reduce this down, try and create a sweet and sour sauce out of it. And I think it's actually gonna give it some good, like, you know, color. Uh, I didn't even think it was gonna be that color, to be honest. Yeah, it's a rosé champagne, which is why we wanted to use it instead of your standard doms, your cristals, yeah, whatever. Yeah. Uh, and so you're gonna go ahead, take this passion fruit, because we're doing a passion fruit champagne, mm -hmm. sweet and sour sauce. Oh, Typically shit. in the sweet and sour sauce, you might have like ketchup and a bunch of like sugar and corn syrup oh. and all that. Uh, and then we're also making a uh, hot mustard. Uh. This is a weird thing. Yeah, you ever worked with fresh Why passion fruit it? before? Yeah, it's been a while. It's got crunchy seeds in it, so you're gonna add that to the boiling champagne. Okay. Uh, and then we're actually gonna strain that. I'm making some hot mustard right now, because I wanna brush down these tenderloins mm -hmm. with the hot mustard, do it really like a Wellington. Dang, smell yeah. that, dude. Fermented white pepper. Ooh, that's yeah. bitter. Yeah, right? <laughs> I want this to be a huge flavor punch, so we're gonna take fermented white peppercorns. Yeah. We're also gonna take Sichuan peppercorn, beef. smell that. You're just making me smell everything today. I like, I like that things. one. That I'm was a little smell, bit more earthy I'm a smell and lighter. Guy. Yeah, Sichuan pepper is really crazy floral. Are we adding all these goodies too? Uh, yeah, yeah. Add the ginger, add the garlic yeah, yeah. to the sweet and sour sauce. We're gonna still get those aromatics in there. Okay. And then dump in like I don't know, maybe like a, a quarter of that sugar, and then we'll just see where we're at. I'm just gonna bash away at my peppercorns. I want to make this mustard like really pungent. V, I want to hurt. I want these egg rolls to make hurt? me feel something, man. I just you... want to feel something. It's like you go to the champagne room. You just want to feel alive, no, you know? your paint And there's like a creepy ridiculous. guy wearing aviators inside who goes like, hey, you want to go to the champagne room? And you go, I don't know, man, but yeah, I think I do. Oh, you're not you know supposed I mean? to trust that guy. No, you always trust that guy. He's always got a he's backpack. A... You're like, what's in the backpack? No, he's the fake like stockbroker, <laughs> you know? All right. Ooh, this smells so nice. Mmm, my grandma's backyard. What, you, is your grandma making champagne sweet and sour sauce in her backyard? She might, yeah. Well, I don't know she did have a lot does, of plants you? back there and a lot of fruit <laughs> trees. So you what else did she grow back there? Um, I can't tell you. <laughs> are you a cop? Are you a narc? No, Nicole thought I was a spy for a long time, though. Oh, uh, I could see that. You'd be the what worst you you spy. You're a terrible spy. Oh my god. <laughs> All I do is talk. Like I spill the first secrets five minutes. so easily. <laughs> never tell me, never trust me with anything. I don't want that burden on me. All right, so now we're grinding mustard flour into all the Sichuan peppercorn. Ooh, that yeah. Looks cool. V, smell it. Smell it. Smell it. God. I don't. I don't smell anything. It smells like a rock. I smell dirt. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna add a fair amount of salt to the mustard. Okay. There we go. Champagne's boiling. That's good. Yeah, How yeah. does that smell? It's not, it smells like the champagne room. <laughs> um, mm -mm. All right, we're adding a little bit of vinegar to the mustard. There we go, there we go. Oh, and then I just want a little nice. bit of hot water. Okay. It's just... you, you know you dropped champagne in there, right? Dude, yeah, we'll add a little champagne to the mustard. Okay, I just didn't know if that was part know. of your- Come on, get a little oh. champagne. Wait, what are we doing? What are we doing? Fizzy mustard. One time I was at the Sizzler Buffet and I tasted their salsa and I was a kid and the salsa was fizzy. Uh-huh. And then now I know enough about lacto-fermentation to know that salsa had just rotted on the Sizzler mm. Buffet. Not the Sizzler Buffet. Yeah, Sizzler Buffet. That's, That's where it's at. That's a right there. I mean, That's my mom used to at. spend a lot of dinners there. That was the first time I ever felt fancy ordering steak and lobster. Yeah, the si the yeah it's like $13. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's the roots of fancy fast food, the Sizzler steak and lobster. Oh, it's shoot. Yeah, I definitely uh, used to dress up for it. That is a pungent flavor. That is a pungent flavor. V, that's the Sichuan peppercorn. Woo you did say you wanted your heart to burn, right? <laughs> that's a lot. That's like a wake me up call. Dang. You think your uh, iPhone alarm wakes you up? No. -uh. Use hot mustard to wake you up. Holy crap. I've never tasted anything that's like that. Uh, that's it's good. That's something. It's, I mean, here's the thing it's going to be spread on the tenderloin. And so it's just gonna, you know, be there for like a nice yeah. little punch throughout the whole thing. I mean, by itself, it's a little, it's a lot, but you All know, right. with the meat combination and our shrimp paste, it's gonna be great. Come on, man. Oh God. Just, no, do not put that back in there. Uh, Pissed. It's great. <laughs> All right, you're ready. <laughs> you ready to make these egg rolls? Yeah, I'm so ready. You ready? Cause you look like you're about to break your neck. Bro, drool is just like oozing from my throat into my mouth and pooling under my tongue right now. Oh, you need to go see a doctor about that. Ah, let's make some egg rolls. See, we gotta finish these damn fancy egg rolls. I know. There's been a lot of build up. Already. There's been a lot of build up. There's a lot of stuff. But hey, if you don't want to go through the trouble of making very fancy egg rolls that take six hours and you, you still don't know if they're gonna work out, you can buy frozen egg rolls and, 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 
If you want to know what the best frozen egg rolls are, they got a ranking over at spork.com. Ooh, go to spork.com, link right freaking there. You just go to it, it's free. You don't have to, like you just go there and then you click around and then like their page numbers go up and then somehow we get money. I, I don't know how it works, but please do that. Like it'd be really, 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 really cool. All right, cool, V, uh, you're gonna sear off those tenderloins. Yeah, so we're yeah, just gonna yeah, try yeah. and go like, let the pan get screaming hot, screaming drop a little hot. oil in there. Okay. Sear them on all sides. We don't want to cook them. Uh, these are cold no. out of the sous vide. We hope it's just gonna come up to the perfect temp inside the egg roll. Okay. Speaking of which, I'm gonna start rolling these bad boys out. So. <laughs> Yeah, let's get, I'm gonna get a little bit of flour you, you on there. You got space, you got space. Yeah, we got big ass egg roll wrappers right here. That's a, that's not for a big ass egg roll, it's for a big ass egg roll. Uh, ooh, ha. There we go. Let's get a little bit of flour here. I'm gonna try and use water, just stick it together. I'm gonna spread, go, 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 go fast. You gotta go fast, you gotta go fast. I'm gonna take a whole lot of the sausage okay. mixture. I'm gonna try and spread this all over the egg roll wrapper here. And then we're gonna nestle tenderloin inside. We're gonna brush that down with the world's most powerful mustard. Yeah. That, <laughs> That could be a whole yeah. superpower. <laughs> yeah, that must. Fuck that's off, the, Tony Shasher. He's used his hot mess. Mustard. If anyone remembers the the rosewater onions we made for the fancy McRib, this is worse. But we made it. It's fancy. It's got the fermented white peppercorn in there. Yeah. We gotta run with it. Okay, hold on. What are we, so now we're gonna go Dixell in there. Yeah. And sort of just sprinkle this around, kind of shred it evenly. Yeah, we're looking. There we go. All the hair. Are those going? Oh, those are awesome. <laughs> Try to brush some mustard down on top of that. Make it very thin. <laughs> Just, Are you making art? We're piece? kind of like, yeah, we're kind you're of like, like Picassoing the mustard. You know Jackson Pollock used to just like drop like cigarettes that he was smoking into his paintings. Um, I right, mean, drop, drop one of those right now. Those are your favorite. Pull them, pull them, pull them. Pull I'm pulling them. Don't use Bro. your finger. That's what my. I'll freaking do it. I Don't do it. One more word. Okay. So we got this just. I'm using your hand. Dude, bro, I got it. Okay. Well, let me move this before the house blows up. V, I'm gonna need your support here, emotionally and physically. Okay. I'm trying to take this. What do you want to do? My fingers are Just ready. flip it and then roll it. Did, I'm gonna did try you and... do that right? Hold on. You did that like no, a burrito. Shh, shh. I'm trying to You're couple it. You're supposed to do it like an egg I'm trying roll. To go, I know I'm, trying, I'm supposed to do it like an egg roll. Egg roll is just a, it's a, technically a burrito. Right? No, that was, or like, okay. What are you doing? Hold on, well, I'm trying to make sure the sausage is evenly dispersed at all of it. And then I was gonna try and tuck this in, but our dough's wet. Our dough's wet. And these egg rolls okay. are too big oh. for egg rolls. Oh, are they too big now? <laughs> This is gonna work out. I think I it think is too. Uh, wait, you're on a good path. I'm gonna let you do, okay, keep okay, doing okay. what you're doing and let your flow go, cause and your flow's flowing. And then we're just gonna try and like, bro, this is messed up. Why is it messed up? I think it looks great. I'm gonna try and kind of just like, <laughs> do one of these. <laughs> she was dropping and figure it out. Yeah, fr frick it. <sighs> Be with God. Run! Oh my God! Sorry. Bro, like there's a whole spider right Listen, there. Listen, I don't know <laughs> what to tell you. We could have done that, but. Uh, so now we're just gonna let this fry for a couple minutes and um, pray, V, pray to whatever God's out there. Look how good that's looking. That looks so pretty. Dude, that looks like crispy KFC skin right there. <laughs> All right, we're gonna pull this. KFC. I think we're done, I think we're done. The tenderloin's already cooked. Okay. It's 120 degrees. And so we're gonna pull it. I love what's happening, I love what's happening. That's good, no, no, the fryer's ah. angry because you made food so good, ah. sorry. Uh, now I guess we just cut it in half? Yeah. Should we do while it's burning hot? I guess we don't hot? need this knife. <laughs> Well, I don't know. Why we so Who doesn't listen? Should I cut it this way? Yeah. yeah no, wait, well, oh, okay. I already did it. Yeah, I know. You should have made it a little bit longer, but I like it. Wowzers oh. in me trousers. That's very silly. Dang, I'm kind of really proud of this one. I'm not gonna lie. Like, this is a really cool visual. I have never been so doubtful in myself. I tried to keep it together throughout this what? whole thing, but the whole time, Avi, I didn't doubt you at, at uh, all. Okay, but myself, yeah. I was deep in the pits of just self-deprecation, and we've risen up like a phoenix to create Whatever the hell that is. The order of the scene. All right, V, we got our incredibly fancy Whoa. beef Wellington inspired egg roll. This looks silly. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Oh. Let's see how it compares okay, to the original. Okay, okay. Grab, grab the panda egg rolls. This, uh, this isn't that big. Like, compare. That is like, you know, like sushi burrito size? This is what that is. This is just sushi burrito. This is just jumbo size. Yeah. You know? Let's try. This one, are we opening some sauce too? Yeah, yeah. So we can remind yeah, jar. Get a nice little drizzle. Yeah. Remember what it used to taste like? Drizzle. Mm. Oh, good ass egg roll. Oh, good ass egg roll. Good, 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 good job. That is delicious. Okay, I'll show that fancy okay. one now. Are we going sauce first? Wait, or no, no sauce? we have to bite it first to see. Yeah. And then How we much do. Sauce you need? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cheers. Wow. That is a freaking flavor bomb. You know what's crazy? You can't taste the mustard. <laughs> <laughs> the mustard works. It blends in everything. Hold on, I gotta go sweet and sour. I'm not going to double dip. Yeah. Uh, here. Get, yeah, I'm just gonna drip on you. I'm just gonna drip. There it okay, is. There okay. it is. Okay. Now That's we're in the good. champagne room. Okay. Yeah. Uh huh. Um, it's a little overwhelming to bite over this big 
a piece of meat. Lean into it though, it's fun. I mean, this is actually genuinely delicious. Like I was worried the whole tenderloin was gonna pull out, but the beef's so like... tender from the sous vide eating. Uh -huh. It's a shrimp and shrimp, lobster and steak, beef bones and egg yeah. beef. We're freaking Wait, good. We killed this one. Okay, but wait, like, how much did this cost, though? Pennies on the dollar, we paid $248.61. But in the grand scheme of things, Man. you can't take it with you when you die. You know, Unless you gotta bury yourself with coins for the boatman. Otherwise nah, you you're can't. tripping. I'm burying myself with this egg roll. <laughs> Put this in my coffin. V, thank you so much for enjoying this experience with me. I feel like we're closer than ever. No, I love this. We're great. Thank you all so much for watching Mythical Kitchen. We got new episodes for you every week. We got new episodes for our podcast, a hot dog is a sandwich every Wednesday, wherever you get your podcast. Oh, I choked on it. <clears throat> uh oh. Meat, no. <laughs> get it out, get it out. There it is. Hit us up on Instagram and TikTok at Mythical Kitchen. Pictures of your mythical dishes under hashtag dreams become food. We'll see y'all next time. Hey, you, cook up your own feast while wearing the Mythical Kitchen apron. Available now at mythical.com.